bright for the background. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to fix the background then. Sorry, guys. Let's fix the background. I'm sure everybody tuning in on YouTube is going to love this. <laughs> All right, here we go. A little rotation to start. All these new video settings. Um, yeah, nice easy rotation and then we are coming into our chops. So it's leg day if you, if you just joined us. Um, there are, as always, eight exercises. Four of them are focused on the lower body, and actually a fifth involves hamstrings and glutes. <laughs> the crawl, you could argue, has some leg work. Anyway, we're going to get the outside of the hip, so get ready for a leg blast. And then this will be the last of the 45 15 classes will switch over to 3015 next month. Um, getting the inner thighs with a wide stance. And then from there, we'll probably go to 6015, then back to 30. But your, your feedback is always appreciated. I know some of you prefer the longer work sets, some of you prefer the shorter work sets. The happy medium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 45 is right in the middle. You're going to hinge at the hips, getting into the hamstrings. Do I have to pin you, Shauna? Or is this, this is okay, right? Well, it's okay now. Nice flat back or slightly arched. Then speaker mode. And you're speaking, so it would be good. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then we're going to go cross crawl, knee to opposite elbow. Still working through the, uh, the MAF protocol. Let you know what I find out. <clears throat> Guys, we're going to take those feet together, little jumps, nice and relaxed, very gentle bounces, and then we're going to alternate them, super low jog. And by the way, it does seem like there's a fair bit of interest um, for outdoor beasts, so when it warms up, I know that may be a little while, we'll probably offer Tuesday, Thursday, 8.30 in McCarran Park. And we're getting those heels up, heels up to your butt. That might be about a month or so away. We'll see. Good. And knees coming up toward the sky, working the hip flexors. That's it. Fantastic. And then we're going to take the feet a little wider. We're going fast feet. You're on hot coals. Moving as quickly as you can for three, two, one, and rest. Nice going. Excellent, guys. So, yeah, one of the big downsides of doing the um, videos is I, you're so small. You're in these little thumbnails, and um, it's really hard to see to give specific feedback. So. I think it'll be better. Um, we'll, we'll have enough videos up there that you can pick and choose um, if you're out of town or you can't make a class, whatever. So here's our eight. We're going to start with an oblique crunch. This is old school. We have an ankle across the opposite thigh. So let's do right ankle across the left thigh. And then you're going to be working at a diagonal going towards the bent knee. So actually the 
opposite way that Sean was going. Yeah, you want to work at that diagonal. Open hip chops. So it's um, rib to hip towards the bent knee. That's the first set. And then the second set, we just, we just reverse it. Okay. But here's the thing. What most people will do is they're going to throw their elbow at the knee, and they're like, ha ha, I got, got my elbow to my knee. But that's, that is not what it's about. <laughs> that, that's not the game we're playing. Okay. Number two um, is our athletic drill, but it's also a leg drill. It's a lateral bound with a contralateral reach. So we're going to hop sideways. And then the opposite hand is going to reach toward the knee, if you are comfortable with that. If that feels like it's putting you at risk or off balance, don't do it. Now remember, guys, bounds are not the same as skaters. Bounds are more intense. So explosive. <laughs> yeah. Really get some power into it. Okay? Stay low. Nice soft landings. That's number two. Number three is from our belly, super being. So it's a low back exercise that has a lot of benefit for the, the posterior, the whole posterior chain, which is the backs of the legs, right? So you get the hamstrings and the glutes. So we've got arms overhead, and this is the one where we have legs up, finally. So ribs up, legs up and you're holding neck with spine that's number three number four is a staggered squat <coughs> which this morning we're going to alternate so um it's not a lunge you have one foot about a foot to a foot and a half forward of the other and typically the back foot's turned out a little bit we drop into our squat in that stagger position, and then on the next rep, you switch the lead leg. So with each rep, here it is from the side, changing the lead leg, keeping the back flat, though, the entire time. So you're not going to go as deep as you would with a parallel squat. Number five is our crawl. It's lateral today, but it's hips high. So we're in that down dog, the inverted V position, and we're going to side step, hand and opposite foot, and then we'll take it back to the starting point. See if you can keep in a straight line as you go laterally. That's number five. Number six is our lunge. <coughs> this is the balance intensive lunge. It's the forward reverse. So we're going to start the right leg. So we step forward with the right foot. That's your forward lunge. And then we step back with the right foot. That's your reverse lunge. And we're going to stay with the right leg being the active leg the entire set. And then the second set, we're going to go left leg. So now if you, if you want to load this, by the way, you're Staggered squat, you could load up. This one's a little tricky. Sean is using a band. If that's an option for you, great. Um, I don't know that it's going to work so well with a ball or a dumbbell, but you can try it for sure. First, make sure you're balanced. Okay, that's number six. Number seven, push up jacks with feet together at the start. So uh, we're on palms balls of feet we jump the feet apart lower ourselves down jump the feet together as we rise up now if uh, this is too intense you can go to the knees but you obviously can't jump the feet apart because you do not want to land on your knees paper um, sliders could work paper plates you can also do your regular push-up or you can just tap one foot to the side if, if you're on your knees. And number eight, last, 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 is a traditional squat, which we encourage you to load either with a band or a ball or a dumbbell or something. Um, 
course you don't have to, but if you have some equipment available, basic squat to wrap it up. That's the fourth leg focused exercise. But again, the others, a couple of the others also, uh, also involve the legs. And there you go, there it is. Boom, eight. Okay, so we're gonna start from our back oblique crunch with the right ankle over the left thigh. And remember, you are moving your ribs toward the bent knee. First round, first set is in three, two, one, and go. Gentle on the neck. And just closing that space down between ribs and hip. Avoiding the temptation to guide the elbow to the knee. You have 20 seconds left. Big exhale with your lift. There's a little bit of rotation there. Working that diagonal. And you have three, two, one, and recover. And now we're gonna flip, so we're getting up. Sorry, we're standing up. Lateral bounds with an optional contralateral reach. Bounds are in three, two, one, and go. I got fooled by my own structure. So the order of exercises is a little different when we do these more focused classes. So guys, remember, explosive. Okay, these are not small jumps. Now just be careful of your landings. Flat-footed, ankle under knee, down to 10 seconds. Good. Arms can help with this. Three, two, one, and recover. And we're back down, oblique crunch. This time the left ankle is crossed over the right thigh. And... We got three, two, one, and go. So now this time you are working towards that left knee. Good, nice exhale, that's it Brian, awesome. Nice, Heather, that's it. Go, Rachel, that's it, Eva. Good work, you guys. Down to 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover, all right. And so we are up for second set. Lateral bound with a contralateral reach. In three, two, one, and go. <clears throat> See if you can stay low. Low meaning pretty deep bend in the knee of the support leg. Swinging the arms in conjunction with your hops. So the arms will go in the direction that you're hopping. And you have three, two, one, and recover. All right, and we are moving on. Now we're on our belly for super being. So stretching out those arms and lifting the legs in three, two, one, and go. So this is your static hold. 
keeping the neck aligned with the spine. You can experiment with your foot position, close or further apart. You can experiment with your arm position, either straight overhead like a referee signaling a touchdown or further apart if that creates too much tension around the neck and into your traps. Three, two, one, and recover. And now we're up for our staggered squat. So you, you pick the lead leg, it doesn't matter because we're gonna switch it with each repetition. Three, two, one, and go. So one is forward, one is back. The next rep, switch the lead leg and the back leg. So this is a pretty dynamic squat. You're gonna keep moving. And just notice what's the difference between having the left foot forward or the right foot forward. How does that feel on your knees? How does it feel on your hips? How about into your low back, mid back, upper back? 10 seconds, what about the ankles? <coughs> We got three, two, one, and recover. All right, nice going, guys. We're down. Super being second set. So you're on your belly, arms are stretched out, legs are up, and we have three, two, one, and go. So here we can close our eyes. Breathing is relaxed. Don't want to hold your breath. And the more you lift the legs, the more you put pressure on the low back. Should feel those glutes working, hamstrings working. Backs of the shoulders, back of the neck. Three, two, one, and recover. Okay. And we're up for second set of our staggered squat with optional extra resistance. In three, two, one, and go. So what kind of depth can you get on these squats? Can you keep the lead knee aligned with the middle of the lead foot. We want to make sure that that lead knee is not caving in. If you're, if you're looking in a mirror, you can get a good view. Nice, Rachel. That's it, Eva. Awesome, Brian. Go, Heather. Good work, you guys. Yep, looks good. Keeping your backs flat, that's awesome. Three, two, one, and recover. All right. And we're moving on, guys. So we're down for the crawl with hips high. Uh, we're moving laterally, though. Hips are up. Three, two, one, and go. So now, in terms of the legs, it's more of a stretch. It's more of a stretch in the hamstrings all the way up into the glutes, into the low back, That's why, and the calves. That's why down dog is such a classic position in yoga. We're stretching so much at once. But with your crawl, you're also working your upper body and core strength. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, and now we've got the forward and reverse lunge. It's the right leg for this first set. That's the active leg, forward and back. Three, two, one, and go. Stepping forward with the right foot, stepping back with the right foot. 
good. Forward and back. Finding balance and stability. Range of motion, strength. 20 seconds to go. Home stretch now. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, good work, guys. And we are back down. Second set, crawl, hips high, lateral. Three, two, one, and go. Should also feel a little bit of a stretch under the arms into the upper ribs, legs and arms are fairly straight. You're working in opposition. If the right hand moves to the right, then the left foot moves to the right. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, here's your second set, forward and reverse lunge. I'd start with feet about hip width. Three, two, one, and go. See how that feels. You don't want a tightrope stance unless your balance is really outstanding. So you can always move the feet closer together if you want more of a challenge. And then the next level would be closing your eyes, being on an unstable surface. Three, two, one, and recover. And now we're down for push-up jacks. The feet start together and then we're going to jump them apart as we lower ourselves down in three, two, one, and go. So here's another option uh, that Sean is demonstrating. It's using what are called sliders. They are plastic discs that resemble a foot with some cushioning on top and they slide pretty smoothly over a mat or a wooden floor or carpet. That was a the furniture. 10 seconds. <laughs> And you have three, two, one, and recover. Nice. Good work, guys. All right, so now we got that just basic squat. So I encourage you to load it up with something, a band, a ball, a dumbbell, anything. We have three, two, one, and go. So feet are pretty parallel. Hips go back, back stays flat. Knees stay aligned with the feet. We don't let them cave in. Bridges stay lifted. Hmm. <laughs> awesome, guys. You find your pace, find your range of motion. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, good work. So we are down for second set, push-up jacks, or, or from the knees, if that's better right now. <clears throat> and that's in three, two, one, and go.
So this is a ballistic push-up, so it's a lot of pressure on the feet. So if that's not working for you, you could tap one foot out to the side, bring it back, then do the other. 15 seconds. Down to 10. Keeping that core engaged, not letting the low back cave in. Three, two, one, and recover. All right. Good job, guys. This is last first. So your basic squat with extra resistance, strongly encouraged in three, two, one, and go. Last first. So there's nothing wrong with, with unloaded movements, whether they be squats or anything else. But at a certain point to get stronger, you're going to probably need to load them up. It's all about this, you know, how much stimulus. 45 seconds is good, but it may not be enough. 15 seconds. <laughs> Down to 10. Short break coming up. In three, two, one, and recover. All right, rest, rest. Yeah, so you're the judge, right? You're, you're the one that knows how much work is enough, how much is going to benefit you. And then not everyone's goals are the same. Some people just want to maintain, and that's awesome. Some people are looking for increased muscle size. That's called hypertrophy. Some people want more power, or they want to get ready for a sport. Think, think about those goals. And think about how you did in the first round and whether you need to change anything as far as risk-reward goes. Uh, lateral bound and the push-up jacks would be your riskiest. Uh, so we want to be careful. Okay, round two, oblique crunch, right ankle over the left thigh. And round two begins in three, two, one, and go. Up and across, working at a diagonal, bringing hips, sorry, ribs, ribs to hips. Or you could say left shoulder to right hip. 20 seconds to go. Big exhale as you come across. Gentle on your neck if you're cupping your ears. Three, two, one. And recover. And we are up. Lateral bound with a reach, contralateral reach, optional. In three, two, one, and go. Let's see, a hop across. Good, guys. Good landings. Now go for some power. So you're basically coiled, a little bit like a snake, and then pounce. And then you got to land flat-footed, let the ankle flex, the knee bend, the hip flex. 15 seconds. So think of it as like a lateral broad jump, but it's only off of one foot. Three, two, one, and recover. Good work. All right. So now we're down for the final set of the oblique crunch with the left ankle across the right thigh this time. 
Three, two, one, and go. Up and across. Nice exhale with the movement. And just notice, is there any difference going this direction as opposed to the previous direction? Do you have more range of motion? More strength? Any discomfort? Down to 10 seconds. And you have three, two, one, and recover. And it's one down. And now we're up for our second drill. Lateral bound, optional contralateral reach for the last time. In three, two, one, and go. Big hops. Lots of power. Nice going, you guys. There you go. 20 seconds. That's what I like to see. Use all that strength in those leg muscles. Down to 10 seconds. You're almost there. Three, two, one. And recover, and that's two down. Nice going. So we're moving on. Super being is next. From our belly, arms overhead, legs are going to be up. In three, two, one, and go. So this is your isometric move. Once you get the arms up and the legs up, you're just holding the position. So the muscle length does not change. Keeping your neck aligned with your spine. Breathing's relaxed. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one and recover all right and we're up for the staggered squat optional extra resistance so you pick your lead leg three two one and go remember each rep you're going to switch the lead Find a stance that works for you. You have to decide how far back the back foot's going to go. Conversely, how far forward is the front foot? How deep can you squat without losing your form? Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And recover. All right. And down we go. Final set of super being. Arms up, legs up. Three, two, one, and go. Last time for this. So of all the low back exercises that we do, this one's probably the most intense. And if you wanted to load it, you would need wrist weights or ankle weights. Fifteen seconds. You're down to ten. Almost there. Three, two, one and recover and that's three down and we're up for the staggered squat for the last time pick your lead leg 
three, two, one, and go. That's it, guys. Optional extra resistance. You could be holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell close to your chest. And another day we'll talk about dumbbell position because I think I've had a change of heart about that. 15 seconds. Home stretch now. Three, two, one. And recover. And that's four down. We're halfway through the final round. And we're down for our crawl with hips high, moving laterally. Three, two, one, and go. Hips are up. Moving to the side. Trying to stay in a straight line. So every once in a while, maybe looking up just to check a reference point. You got 15 seconds to go. And that's three, two, one, and recover. And now we're back up for our forward and reverse lunge. The right leg is our active leg for the first set. In three, two, one, and go. Stepping forward with the right, stepping back with the right. Controlling the descent. So as those knees bend, not allowing yourself to just collapse to the ground. Using all that strength in the thighs and around the knees to control it. Three, two, one and recover. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Down for your final crawl with hips up, moving laterally in three, two, one, and go. Last crawl. Drill five. So you can either crawl to the end of your space and then crawl back or you can crawl a predetermined number of steps, maybe four each way. That's it. Nice, Heather. Good, Rachel. That's it, Eva. Go, Brian. Good job, you guys. Down to 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover, all right. Good work, you guys. That's five down. <laughs> and now, final lunge, forward reverse. This is the left leg moving. In three, two, one, and go. Drill six. So after this one, you have three minutes of work left. Stepping forward, stepping back. So this is great for just improving body awareness, balance, lower body strength, coordination. Down to 10 seconds. Three two, one, and recover. 
And that is six down, two to go, three minutes to work. Push-up jacks are next. We're in plank with the feet together. And push-ups are in three, two, one, and go. So the feet come apart. And that's when you lower yourself. And then they come back together when you bring yourself back to the starting position. Making sure the low back doesn't collapse, making sure you don't drop your head. Don't want to throw your hips forward either. If you're on your knees, that's totally fine. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and recover. Great, guys. Now we're up for our squat with extra resistance. Set your feet. Three, two, one, and go. So either a band wrapped above the knees or around the ankles or holding some kind of a weight. And if you are holding a weight, you do want to keep it very, very close to your body so that it's the legs that have to do the work. The further away from your body that weight is, the more the arms get involved. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. And we got two sets left. A minute and a half of work. That is it. We're down for push ups for the final time. Feet together. Push up jacks in three, two, one, and go. Feet come apart as you go down. Feet come together as you go up. Twenty seconds to go. Stay strong, guys. Almost there. Last couple. Three, two, one. Recover. And this is it. Last, last, final set of February. It's your squat with extra resistance. Best set of the morning, the week, the month in three, two, one, and go. All right. See what you got. Super strong legs. Really good form. That's it, Brian. Nice, Heather. Good guys. Good range of motion. That's it, Rachel. Go, Eva. Awesome. That's it, Shauna. Stay with it, guys. You want to finish strong. 15 seconds to go. Don't let up. Final 10. That's it, beasts. Keep going. Three two, one, and done. All right, you did it. Got through this morning, got through this month, got through 45.15. Gonna just shake out, sip of water, bring our heart rate down, towel off, and then we will come into our cool down Starting with our chest, so hand on the wall, turning away, or if you happen to have a band attached to the wall, you can hold the band and turn away. Either one works fine. 
So I think each month it's a good time to just take stock of where you're at. How did you do for the month? How consistent were you? How do you feel? How's your, your strength, your energy? And we're going to switch other side. Do you have any pain anywhere? I mean, a month is just, it's just a human concept, but it can be useful for organizing your approach to whatever. And then, of course, with each month, the weather changes a little bit. Three, two, one, and we're going to release that. And we're going to go into our hip flexor quad combo. So we're kneeling and we're flattening our back. And then we're lifting the arm on the same side as the trail leg. Now this is to pre-stretch the front of the hip. And then after this one, we're going to get our quad, which is also a hip flexor. And we got three, two, one. And now we'll grab the ankle of the trail leg and get the quad. I think sometimes if you, if you listen to sports commentators, they'll say something like, she's got a hip flexor injury, or, or it's a hip flexor. Like, yeah, that's not very useful terminology. There's, there's numerous muscles that could be involved. And we have three, two, one, and we're going to switch it over to the other leg. TFL is the, the Starbucks muscle, <laughs> the tensor fascia latte. Okay, so we're getting the front of the hip on the other side. Now, it's just, who cares what the names are? It's just good for you to understand where, th where here, things are at. <laughs> here, here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You got three, two, one, and we're going to go into a quad stretch for the trail leg. But it's good to write this stuff down, especially, you know, what you want to achieve. And we got three, two, one. So we're going to release that and we'll get our hamstrings. So we're going to go to our back. But if you prefer to be standing, that's cool. If you are on your back, you're going to elevate a leg. Very little bend in that knee. Making sure you feel the stretch in the muscle, not in the joint. Three, two, one, and we're going to switch it over. And it's been a long pandemic, so if you're feeling a little stressed, you may want to consider some meditation or some yoga. And uh, I'll, I'll check, with, check with Heather to see if we can send out the meditation link uh, for our friend. Three, two, one. I'm going to release that. And why don't we get the glutes? We'll get the glutes and then I think uh, we'll call it a day. So we're crossing the ankle over the opposite thigh, similar to your oblique crunch position. 
except now we're going to lift that bottom leg, which in turn is going to stretch the glute of the leg that's crossed over. And we've got three, two, one, and we'll release and we'll cross it over the other way. Same thing on the other side, ankle over thigh, pick up the bottom leg. And you've got three, two, one. And just give yourself a nice hug, big hug, knees to chest. Little rock forward or back or sideways. A couple of deep breaths here. And then you can bring your knees over to one side and come up to standing. And great job, you guys. We're going to go beast on three with hands in. We've got one, a two, a three. Beast. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Awesome, guys. Great work. Nice to see you all. Have a beautiful day, a great weekend, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Next month. Next month. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Bye, <laughs>